Welcome to Pravdan Tutorials. Please kindly subscribe. Thank you. Hi everyone. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the differentiation of this type of function and uh, we'll look at a uh, examples that apply the chain rule and a product of uh, and product rule okay so um, if we have a y equals cos a x where a is a constant remember in our last video uh, on differentiating the cosine function we did say that uh, when you differentiate a cosine function for example cos x you will get negative of sine x so what about if it is in this form y equals cos a x in this case we're going to apply what we call the chain rule or the function of a function and how does that works now you look at this a x here you make it as a representation so we can say let's u be equals to ax then our y becomes cos of u remember according to chain rule you have to differentiate this u with respect to x that is the u dx which will give you a in this case and you also have to differentiate your y with respect to u in this case function y with respect to u and when you differentiate a, cos a cosine function it gives you minus sign of that function which is u and according to chain rule you have to multiply these two together that is your du dx multiply dy du which in turn gives you if you look at this which in turn gives you or leaves you with the y the x and that's all we are looking for so i have my du the x which is a multiplying the y the u which is negative sine u and finally you can have a we can bring the negative to the front sine u replace it with what it is which is a x so you have this okay uh, we're gonna look at some typical examples okay as a quick one let's say you have y equals cos 6x so how do you do this in the case of objective for example all you do is uh, look at the function here which is 6x differentiate 6 x when you differentiate 6 x with respect to x you will be left with 6 okay and uh, when you differentiate a cosine function remember you get negative sine so if i put that here negative sine we write this you have 6 x that is it your a in this case is in place of 6 I will look at another example a very good example this time around um, let's see something like this something that is more advanced y equals x raised to power of 4 cos 6x for example okay uh, this is a little bit uh, complex but it's very simple uh, check our previous video on product rule in applying product rule in that case what are we going to do do here uh, we can have see two different terms they've been multiplied together so we can make a representation let u for example be equals to the first term s raised to the power of 4 and uh, let v be equals to the next one which is cos 6x so the next thing here is to differentiate remember we need to know what the differentiation of u with respect to x will give us and that is going to give you remember to differentiate using the general uh, rule 
which we have done in one of our videos. Uh, 4 is the power, you drop the power 4. We write the old term s raised to the power 4, subtracting 1 from the power, which leaves you with 3. The same thing, you need to differentiate your v with respect to x. This time around, I'm going to do it straight away, as we have done uh, before. Look at the 6x. When I differentiate 6x, I get 6. When I differentiate cos, I get minus sign. Then I will write 6x as easy as that. So next is uh, apply your product rule, which says the y dx is equals to the first variable that we have, differentiation of the second variable plus the second variable differentiation of the first, so which is this. And if we apply that, we have a u, which is s power 4, dv dx, we got minus 6, sine 6x, six plus v, which is cos 6x, and that multiplied the u dx, which we got as 4x power 3. So, this is it. You can factorize further or simplify as the case may be. Looking at the first term and the second term, we can see something is common, and that's going to be uh, x. This is x power 3, x power 4. So, x power 3 is common, and uh, this is 6, and this is 4. So I can say uh, 2 is common. So if we bring that out, we will be left with uh, minus 3x sine of 6x from the first one plus uh, 2 out of 4 here will be left with 2. S cube has already taken care of the S cube. And so we are left with cos of 6x. And that is it. Alright guys, try to lay your hands on more examples for better understanding and become a mathematics giant. See you and see you in our next video where we'll be talking of how to differentiate a tangent function. Bye bye. Please kindly subscribe. Thank you.